With the recent new trailer and announcements for Monster Hunter Stories 2, we have some new monsties and new information about them to share. Don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe for more videos just like this and hit that notification bell so you'll be first to see the videos. Comment down below what monster you would like to see in Monster Hunter Stories 2. I'm Paradise Central and let's jump into it. First up, we have Glavinus, a monster first introduced in Monster Hunter Generations. They are brute wyverns with long, sword-like tails that they can also use their fangs to sharpen. Their strong hind legs allow them to effortlessly chase down their prey, which they can then slash at with their monstrous tails. Glavinus is of course able to sharpen its tail with its mouth, but that also gives it the ability to create fiery explosions with its tail. These explosions don't only give Glavinus more range, but they also increase its attack and make it more powerful. One great battle tip when fighting a Glavinus is to remember that it will change its attack patterns once it's stored up enough heat, so try to break the different parts on the Glavinus before they're able to unleash that devastating blow with the heat that they have stored up. They also have a kinship skill called X-Blaze that we have a few screenshots of but also got to see in action in the new trailer. Next up we have Gamoth, another monster first introduced in Monster Hunter Generations, and these are massive beasts with big piercing tusks, similar to a mammoth, they are giant woolly sort of elephants and they strike their opponents with their strong tusks or simply crush them under the sheer weight of their bodies. Gamoth is also able to breathe snow from its trunk that can encase enemies. This snow can also be applied to its legs to encase them in an icy armour. Some battle tips when you're fighting a Gamoth is to try and break its different parts before it's able to unleash devastating attacks. The more different parts you break, the less damage you will take when they actually attack you. And we also know that they have a kinship skill called Raging Avalanche, which we have a few screenshots of and also got to see a bit of in the trailer. Following on from that we have Basil Geese, first introduced in Monster Hunter World. These are flying wyverns that travel the world in search of prey. They scatter explosive shells over a wide area and feast on whatever gets caught in the blasts. Basil Geese uses these scales offensively during combat. It's capable of dislodging them at will and quickly replacing them. Once they are dislodged, the scales then drop onto the field and act similar to landmines and explode when attacked or after a certain time. Some battle tips when you're taking on the Basil Geese is to remember that when they are in their enraged state and gliding, items like flash bombs are ineffective. Instead, break their parts and bring them down to earth before it's too late. They also have a kinship skill called Nova Strike that we got to see a bit of in the trailer which looks like he covers a large area in the scales that of course then explode when he dive bombs in. It does look quite cool. Then next we have another monster first introduced in Monster Hunter World, it's Toby Kadachi, and these are fanged wyverns with sharp claws that allow them to climb up tree trunks with ease. On their backs are patches of white fur, as well as a bushy tail covered in rows of spikes. Its front limbs also have a few spikes, and these agile monsters can build up static energy with their fur as they rub against tree bark. Some battle tips when fighting a Toby Kadachi is to remember that their attack patterns will change when they store up enough static electricity, and that Toby Kadachi will use this static electricity to increase the strength of its attacks, so make sure to break their parts before they charge more of that dangerous static electricity. They also have a kinship skill called Kadachi Fury, which looks quite fun and sort of sees him doing his iconic little fly and then electric dive bomb. Performing a kinship skill together with your monstie, you can deal massive damage to monsters and stack the odds in your favor. 
Then next up we have monsters that were showed in the live stream but there isn't too much information about them. We have Yangaruga which of course is a bird wyvern and was officially first announced in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Yangaruga has a striking purple coloration, large defensive spikes and an extremely tough shell. Its beak is sharp and jagged and it possesses a silver mane around the edge of its face. It's highly aggressive and possesses a poison tail club and can produce ear splitting roars to stop foes in their tracks. It is quite crafty and will avoid traps as well as being unaffected by sonic bombs. We also saw Yan Cut Ku, which is another bird wyvern that was first introduced in Monster Hunter from 2004 on the PlayStation 2. And Yan Cut Ku is characterized by its large fan like ear frills that unfurl when excited. The Yan Cut Ku is capable of moving at high speeds thanks to its light weight and small stature. We also briefly saw Durambaros, which is a brute wyvern introduced in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. It is a bulky, heavy set bovine monster with stocky, muscular legs and a thick upper body. It features a very thick outer hide that's riddled with heavy folds with a row of armoured plates running along its back and tail. And then finally we also saw Kezu, who of course is a flying wyvern and was first introduced again on Monster Hunter from 2004 on the PlayStation 2. Kezus are large pale wyverns with a flabby, rubbery hide which they try to constantly keep damp, similar to that of an amphibian. Their tail features a specialized orifice which bonds to the ground during their many electrical attacks and also helps them cling onto cave ceilings. They also have a very leech-like face and are generally just quite horrible to look at. Let me know what you think of these monsters down in the comments below and let me know which one you are most excited for. This was all of the monsters that I could see from the new trailer, announcements and live streams. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Do remember to drop a like down below and subscribe for more videos just like this one and don't forget about that notification bell as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time working together with this our plans will finally come to fruition we can't let you interfere with our plans ah, that's my heart if you want to catch more from us at arix gaming don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and paradise central streaming over on twitch weekdays playing a variety of games if you guys want to jump in tune in watch and even join in then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.